This video explains how to build the RGB Mega Ball pole topper. Now, this is designed for candy cane style poles that uh, you put around the edge of your display, around your front yard, those types of areas. Now, uh, it takes inexpensive 4 inch uh, sewer pipe. Uh, it is a very specific type, and that type is 4 inch, and then you're looking for ASTM D2729. That decides what the inside diameter. Now, this is designed to fit specifically in there. So let's show you the overall design. So this cap simply slides into, and you can see that it's a nice tight fit, into there. Then what we do is we take our globe, and the entire thing sits right on the pole. It also places the lights so that they're on the uh, pole and they're sitting inside and they're perfectly distributed and we'll show you how to build that now. Now, just a few words on the pole itself. Um, they do kind of come in an off-white. You can paint them. Now, you also may notice that they have print on them. Now you can either place that to the back of your display where it's not visible or you can take acetone and simply with a little bit of LL grease remove it. This will also allow you to clean the pipe because these pipes often come with um, you know they've been shipped on a truck and they have a dirt and those types of things. So acetone will allow you to clean that up. Uh, use plastic paint if you wish to uh, convert that into a pure white uh, color. All right, now, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the electronics, the DMX controller, and the lights on this. And now, how this is all going to hook up is via Cat5 cable. We're going to be plugging it into these uh, couplers. Now, you may purchase either this portion alone uh, as the cap only or you can purchase as a kit which includes the LEDs, screws, wire, splitter, and DMX controller. And this DMX controller works with all popular lighting applications. Okay, now what we're going to do here, first we're going to extract the controller inside of this from the box. The box we don't need. Uh, this will be waterproof. Uh, once it's completed. All right. All right, so now we've got the controller here. We're just going to toss that. Don't need that anymore. Here's a DMX controller, three channel, uh, and this will be more than sufficient to run these four LED modules. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take our soldering iron. Uh, now, a list of different tools you may need soldering iron, hot glue gun some dykes, pliers, Phillips screwdriver, a marker doesn't hurt, um, and let's get started here. So we've extracted at our uh, EMX controller, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here, and we're going to remove these wires, these lead wires. Now on the board itself, it's marked RGB, red, blue, green, so it's uh, clear as to which way these wires go back together. I'm just going to extract them from where they're soldered onto the board. And I'm just going to toss that wire. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the LEDs to where I just uh, s uh, removed the extension cord. First, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tin this. I'm just going to take a little bit of solder, put a little bit of solder on these. on these connections right here. Now, they're red, green, blue, and yellow. The yellow is the uh, anode, the positive, and that just simply goes on the board where it's marked V plus, voltage positive, and you're going to put the green where the G is, pretty simple, the red where the red is, where the, where the R is, and the blue where the B is. Okay. All right, that, we've already done half of our wiring. All right, now, what we want to do now is go ahead and assemble our cable. Now, we've got our cable here. Um, normally, you want to keep it at about five feet. 
Uh, so a tip foot cord allows you to cut a cord in half because we're only going to use one side of this Cat5 plug. The other side we're going to cut off. So I'm going to just take a 10 foot cord I've already cut in half and I'm just going to strip back the cable. Now again, uh, the length of the cord is dictated by the length of your pole. If your poles are four foot, which allows you generally to get uh, several out of a single length of pipe, uh, that's what you would use. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take these wires. There are in here four pairs of wires. One pair is for the signal and that is the orange pair. The orange solid and the white orange. And uh, what I'm going to do is just simply I'm just going to strip back the uh, insulation from each one of the ends of the wires. And I'm going to combine the cables that are not orange together that are solid. So I'm going to take the blue, brown, there we go, blue, brown, and I'm just simply going to twist them together, making them into what amounts to a single wire. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the white, green, and the white, brown, and the white, blue. All right, now we're done. We're going to go ahead and just tin that cable with a little bit of solder. Put that on there. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach this to the DMX controller. But before we do that, we're going to need to unconnect these other two remaining cables. One of them is power cable. That's the red and black and the blue, red, and black cables are the signal cable. Now, let's start off by unsoldering the power cable. That's the one labeled VCC. And there's one in the center of the board labeled GND, that's ground, that's the negative. So we're going to take the GND, which is the ground, and we're just going to solder that on there. I'm just going to trim this back since it's a little long. And I'm just going to solder that right onto the board there. Okay, and then I'm going to solder the. Oops, I need to put a little bit of solder on there. Okay, solid wires on the G and D. And the white with stripes onto the VCC. And there we go with power. Now the other thing that we need to hook up is the signal cable. Now there are three wires here, black, black, red, and blue. Blue is on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and unsolder those. The blue is on the far outside. Just take that. We don't need that any longer. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder the orange to the blue wire. That's on the board labeled D minus. So we're going to put orange on the outside here. Now they're, they're kind of close together so make sure that they're not shorted out or, or that the solder joint extends between the two of them. And our soldering is now done. So we got the solid orange on the outside, the striped orange on the inside, and we don't use the black connection or the most inner one. Now, you may think, okay, well that just puts the signal in. Well, what we're doing is uh, we actually are splitting the signal at the base of the unit. So when the signal comes down, signal comes from the next globe over into here, includes the power and signal in the same cable, and then goes out, and then the signal is split off and the power is applied to this controller. So we actually don't need an output. This is how all traditional controllers uh, work, like LOR controllers. Okay, now uh, we need to simply just take the cable in and put it through the hole. Now this is what will be going to the bottom of the pole and we'll be hooking the power and data signal up to the bottom of the pole. All right, and we're going to simply take our glue gun we're just going to put some glue into this little slot that's at the base. This is going to hold the controller. Okay, now we've attached our controller. What we're going to do is just go ahead and add a strain relief in here. 
Uh, I'm just going to pull the cable up and then around. And we're just going to put a zip tie on this. There you go. And I can assure you that's plenty strong. All right. So what we need to do is now attach the LED modules. There are four of them in here. Um, and what we want to do, of course, you want to usually wait for that to dry. Uh, we're going to just simply glue them onto the sides uh, in equal proportions. So before we start, what we're going to do is take off, if your modules have double-sided tape, we're going to just tape off the double-sided tape because that doesn't provide enough surface area to attach to the rounded pole. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place that on there. Just on quarters here. the final LED module. Okay, now I'm also going to trim off this last little extra set of wire here since it's not necessary for it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take these, these up out of the way. Okay, now I'm just going to go back, hit it with a little bit of extra glue just to make sure that if these get a lot of rough treatment um, that everything is going to be fine. Okay, now, you don't have to because the module here will actually be uh, going upward, so water is not going to get into it once you put the cap on. Uh, but you could take, if you wish to seal this up, uh, put some silicone, or what you can use is also just regular hot glue and just put some hot glue in there in the base. Uh, again, not necessary. All right, now the next thing you want to do is we need to just simply adhere this to the post. So what you'll do is you'll simply just slide this into, now this is designed to be a fairly tight fit. There you go. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll simply just slide this onto the pole, putting the wire down the base, like that. You'll slide it in here, and this should all be a very tight fit to ensure that it's nice and smooth. Okay, just take that. Now you have to do, put your screws roughly about like that and now you'll put those evenly around the outside. Now, here's some extra tips for this. Now before you adhere this, what you may also want to do remove that, um, to decorate your design remove that, you can also use simple red duct tape. Simply just start up with here at the corner. Decide at an angle. You might even want to make a template so that they're all exactly the same. Just take your duct tape, roll it around, making sure that it continues to stay in the straight line. And you can see you can make pretty quickly nice looking pole. Now, for mounting, you'll need to determine what works best for uh, your display and how you wish to mount them. Um, you can use three foot stakes that you can find. These are metal, what are called T-bar stakes. Okay, so now we've got it all the way to the bottom. We'll just roll that under. And you can see that makes a real nice K 
candy cane look. Now, uh, the T-bars would just simply slide up in here, and I recommend drilling holes on each side and just putting in some zip ties so that the T-bar the stake is in the ground. You put that in first, put the T-bar under there, put the zip tie around there, and then you're good to go. Now, again, what you're going to do is you're going to be having the cable coming out the base. Just simply plug up the splitter, plug one cable into here, one plug into there, and you're done. You can have these up and running, no time flat. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you.